So, grip on that is okay for me. I can just about make out the black yeah. logo on your glove, okay? It could be a little bit more, mm. truth be told, but it's getting there to where I want to get to, okay? Now, if you actually watch these moves, these are just sort of practice swings, okay? As you're coming back now, you can see at this point, your left arm is leading the golf club, okay? Because the club now is back here, yeah, which is good, okay? Mm. As we come down a few more frames, your left arm now is there, and the club is still back there. So we're still leading, obviously, as we come through to impact, you can see at the point where your club would be going through impact there, lovely, hands, left arm, the club, all in the nice line, okay? And you did these for four or five swings, though, quite continually, weight kind of shifting, so your hip movement there, shifting onto that left foot, the left foot staying flat, back into impact here, again, club face square, logo on the left hand now is visible, which shows your left hand returns back to that position, and you go through nicely, okay? Very, very good. Then when you put the goal ball in the way, as we get back here, still good, still good. So at this point now, left arm, and there's the club. So we're in an okay spot here now. As we come into impact, there's your left arm, and there's the club. And as you hit the golf ball, your glove hand, there's impact, yeah. and your hands now yeah. have gone back. If we go from your left arm to the golf ball there, you can see where your hands have gone. Yeah. Now, what's happening is your hands are going to work back here, and the body's all linked up. If your hands are going back here to try and square the club face up, where's your weight shift going to go? Now, what will happen is one of two things. One, if you're leaning back or your hands are behind the ball, you're sticking the club in the ground behind the golf ball. That's just the physical given, okay? Or you will instinctively, I suppose, or kind of unconsciously stop that by lifting the arms up or doing something slightly different, which in turn leads to you mishitting it, shanking it, or the ball going way off to the right. Then, of course, we try to stop that ball going to the right by flicking it with your hands, which again in turn leans you back here. So when you're finishing these shots and your weight is falling backwards, if you look at your, even on these short shots here now, you can see the movement of your left foot or left heel. Here, one more shot I'll show this on this video here now. How your left heel is moving. If the fact if your weight is on your left heel, your left heel wouldn't be doing that move there, would it? No. If I put all of your weight there, okay, on your left foot, okay, right, now move your left. You could move it. No, it's impossible. So the movement of your left foot and the impact conditions of your hands is kind of a sign or a showcase that when that ball gets there, your instinctive reaction is to kind of hit it with this kind of motion, yeah, flicking it a bit too much with the hands. Okay. Now we don't want to be sort of blocking the hands off so there's no kind of release whatsoever but at the same time if we do it too much like that you end up shahanking it and it goes off to the right there so so your impact or your practice is to hit some shots at, again practicing at home with that club just feeling as though when you hit golf ball give it one more for a now with that club i'll give you a little practice drill to think of take your left hand off the golf club and hold the club in your right hand like so Okay, so your right arm's going to be kind of pointing down towards your lead hip there, and the club's back here. Now keep this angle, just swing the golf club back. Okay, small little thing. Now swing through, trying to maintain as much of that angle as you can with your right wrist. Okay? So when you did that there, your club kind of wanted to do a bit of this flicking at the end. Now, there will be a little bit of release, no doubt, okay? But if we can kind of fit a little bit more this way, so your arms kind of work, that's fine, <laughs> working kind of this, there you go, good. That is kind of how the club is going to release. What you do though, Carl, is you get to here and you do this. Okay, so when you do that, the actual angle of the golf club now is working outside and therefore comes into the golf ball with the unmentionables and off to the right. So that is something you can do with just your right hand on the golf club. Make some small little swings, hitting the ball less. Now again, as much as we know, we're not looking at chipping today, we're looking at generally the long game ideally, this movement is your chip shot when you're on the golf course. And we've known in the past when you've been playing on the golf course, if your chipping can be a little bit out, it can often lead to kind of these flicky ones. And you find it very difficult the first few months of playing to hit short shots. You couldn't hit a ball softly, could you? Because there's always how much power could you hit? So getting that impact better, getting those hands in the right spot. We're all going to stand from the grip, better grip and better hand position on the golf club. That left heel's off the ground again, you see? So that the movement of your body is often a reaction of your arms and hands trying to flick or save that golf club, okay? So.